So what does a neurosurgical PA's role entail? Well, it depends on what area you work in. Um, so there's outpatient, like seeing people in the clinic. There's inpatient um, on the floor, seeing post-op patients, consults, things like that. And then there's in the operating room. So in the outpatient clinic, I'll see new patients. We'll order x-rays, MRIs, CTs, whatever's needed for that problem. We'll make diagnoses, come up with a treatment plan. Um, oftentimes, we'll start some non-surgical treatments if that's the best thing. Um, prescribe medications, and even discuss what surgical options there are. And then how do you help in the operating room? In the operating room, I work as first assist, so that means that I'll help with dissection um, of muscles and bone and things like that. I'll help with suction, I'll help with placement of screws and hardware, um, help with um, taking bone graft, um, we'll help with closing up suturing materials, um, closing skin, things like that. One thing I forgot is at the beginning of surgery, I'll make sure the um, patient is positioned properly and I'll bring in x-ray and make sure everything is all lined up and we've got the skin marked and we know exactly where we're going and make sure it's perfect when the surgeon comes in. After surgery, we'll see patients in the hospital, follow them through their post-op course before they go home, um, make sure they're doing well with their pain medications, make sure their incision is healing well, um, that they're working well with physical therapy, all those things. We'll also see consults from the emergency room, anybody that comes in with any acute brain or spine problem, um, we might see someone there too. So essentially the PAs in my practice extend my care. Um, as a surgeon, we're in the operating room a lot and we're only one person. So a lot of the roles that we play in a patient's care can, can be done by the physician assistant and allow us to reach a broader population of patients and provide excellent care.